Hey there, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ryan, and in today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to build a brick soldier force. Before we jump into the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed for more fun videos like this one. Let's dive into it. So my first step here is to build a lead and both sides of the window or door. We're gonna build a lead three courses of brick before we go ahead and start our soldier course. Once we finish our three courses, we want to go ahead and get our level and plumb both sides of the door or the window. Make sure they are 100% plumb. Here I'm just putting some mortar right on top of my angle line just to stabilize the bricks that's going to go. In. So Here I'm just measuring to determine the size joint we need to work in order to fill the space here. Right now on my tape it says zero. Here I'm installing my first brick for my soldier. Just push it right up with a uh, zero joints. Once installed the first one, I want to plumb it. Put our level, make sure that she's nice and plumb. Zero joint is usually a tighter joint, so. If you were to work with your tape, you also can mark on your angle line, get a pencil and just mark zero. Lend your brick tape out and just mark zero. Each, each step you go, you will see zero on your tape and you just mark it so that way you can match the brick to where the mark is as you go on your window or your door. Here I'm just plumbing the face of the, just to make sure that it's plumb. Once we know that it's plumb, we're just gonna work with the same measurement from the edge of the on the line to the edge of the brick that way we know that everything is going to be in line as we go across here i have a line running right across the top of the door we want to go as close as we can go to the line with our brick we want to try avoid from touching the line so that way it don't throw us off right here in the middle of the door you want to leave a space for your weeping hole so right at the bottom, I like to leave a two inch or inch and a half space. That way, if there's any water or to go in the behind the wall later on, it will escape and come through the weeping hole. As you see, I rub my hand up and down just to kind of make it more easier to have the brick um, out and maintain the same size joint um, from the top and the bottom. If I go, I plumb my, my brick, you know, if you're a rookie, I would advise you to, I would suggest to plumb each course as you go. For me personally, I, I plumb, sometimes I plumb every other one, sometimes I plumb one, then plumb the other one, it just depends. But the reason why I do it like this is because over the years I learned the way how I can lay one or two without have to put the level. But if it's your first time, I would strongly recommend you. I would strongly advise you to plumb every course as you go with your level just to make sure that everything is nice and straight in there. If this was a bigger soldier course or out a bigger window or door, I would put some brick ties there as well. This last brick that I just installed here, I like to butter both sides. So I butter the both sides of it so when I go right in, both sides of the brick is buttered. Once I finish that, I get a, a slicker. As you see, I'm doing it right here now and I compact it. I try to fill it just to make sure that everything is nice and filled properly. Oh. 
once I finish, I get a level and I put a level across just to make sure that all the bricks are in line. If by any means there's a brick need to come out, you use the point of the chowel and you just pluck it out right up to the, 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 the level. That way you know that all the bricks are in line with each other. And that's it. Give the video a thumbs up if you get value and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Thank you for watching.